Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time, you like the channel, you like the program, subscribe and put on your notification bell because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. Like you all may know, I present information across the globe, especially in Nigeria to be precise. And I want to appreciate my viewers, my subscribers. You guys are so amazing, especially those who always tune in to watch me each time I upload a new video. You are not more intelligent than the chamber, the two chamber that passed this bill into law. You were not around when we passed this bill into law. Exactly. You didn't even know anything about the bill. We were the one who conceived this. And we put them on writing, in writing for you to be able to implement so that this thing will meet the standard that is required. Above all, I see no reason and it's inexplicable for any administrator to tell me who administer uh, uh, an agency like you, saying that you, you employ just about 200 people or so. After, uh, uh, after many years, it's enough to, to throw you out, out, out of the window. All of you should pack and go. You have thrown my phone woefully. If nobody can tell you what light and light, I can that you have not done well. Uh, I'm telling you, you didn't do well. You know didn't do well, Mr. Chairman. We should tell them they didn't do well. There are millions of graduates roaming the streets. You are not employing them. You are saying that you want people with first degree for a first class. Do all of us have to have first class to be here? I didn't have a first class. But I compete far better than people with first class. So you do not use first class certificate as a, as, 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 as a condition to employ people. Now you say all your people, the people you are bringing, the people of first class. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Eh? There are great Nigerians who never made first class in the university. So you cannot tell me that that will be your yardstick. Mr. Chairman, I think there's a need to give them a marching order. This document you are present to us is rubbish, is indespicable, is unacceptable. There's a lot of contradiction in your presentations. How do you explain it? FCT is next, is next to, to Lagos. In terms of revenue base, it should it's nice to Lagos. You are sitting here for how many years and you are performing woefully. You are talking about giving us what a local government, what, what a local government will, will record for for a year. And you think we want to celebrate you as senators here? Very, very disappointing. I've said this so many times. For FIRS to sit down here, for, for uh, Abuja IRS to sit down here and they're saying they're collecting 75 million, 80 billion a year as revenue. And you think that is something to gloat about. It's an embarrassment. It is an embarrass after four years. I was in Ogun State when we, had, when we started at 700 million. We went to 7 billion a month revenue with, with the chairman of IRS, uh, UGRS. It is an embarrassment. I mean, 70 billion, and then we had, last year was 70, this year is 70, and you are saying half of it now, FIRS, FIRS is the one that collected it for you. So, what are you doing? So we sit down in the office and then we are waiting for FIRS to now collect for you and then you now take your 2% and then your salaries get paid. And we, we talked about this, this last time. We sat down with you, we said, okay, whatever help we can help you, whatever you need people, we brought in the, wherever, whoever we can refer to assist you. If you don't have the capacity, just say you don't have the capacity. It's not everybody has the capacity to start a company. Basically, what you are doing here, we've given you, a, we've given you a vehicle to start a company and run it and, and generate revenue. And if you don't have it, just say you don't have it. FCT, FRS, and in our revenue, I think it's supposed to be even in the FCT, it's supposed to be even stronger than FRS. But to be very honest, FCT revenue services is not visible. It's not visible. And for four years, you've been relying on FIRS. So why don't we take over the, the powers of FCT FIRS, uh, IRS and give it to FIRS to continue haram, haram. so that they can do better? Haram. <laughs> no, no, wait now. That, wait. No, no, I'm telling you, because the performance is very poor. And we keep talking, last year is the same thing. And we are saying the same thing again now. And they will say, the country is poor. We're looking for money. And then those people that are reposed with the responsibility to do the needful are taking it for granted. Given us, given us talk, most of us here, uh, uh, we are, some of us are chartered accountants here, financial experts. This is enough to indict FIRS, um, uh, LCT IRS. This is enough to indict it. 
And in a decent society, as a boss, honestly, you will tender your resignation and go. With the establishment of the FCT IRS, and I think it was very clearly mentioned at last year's budget deliberation, that the link between FCT IRS and FIRS should be severed completely. Because the essence of setting up the FCT IRS is to take over the role of what F FIRS does in FCT. And we have decided that. And that was the basis of which you were also granted the budget of 5.3 billion to fully staff FCT IRS and all the other operationals, uh, operational uh, needs. needs for you to stand on your feet. And I believe that is why F FCT, I'm not talking on behalf of FCT, but I don't know why they are not recognizing those amount of money, which is a lot. It's coming from FIRS. In our employment, 117 FIRS staff, with all the computers, with all the offices, with all the generators and vehicles. They gave us 10 vehicles. We just intend to disengage them this year. In April, we have a program which I gave to you to do our own employment in April. This month, inshallah. That's what we want to do so that we can replace the FRS people. We are not paying them because they're collected. We are paying for, this, for their staff that we have used to help us collect. We are 130 people in the service today, 117 is from FRS. Sir. So far, from the way you were responding to questions, I was personally impressed with the way you were answer, answering your questions. I was impressed, honestly. But then this particular I single question of how did one billion answering the question, how what did you use that in? And you said two percent and we have been able to find out that two two, two percent does not translate to the amount they collected. You now came with another factor that you are paying for the for the staff. Are these staff are they not paid do, do they not have their salaries? Do they not have, are they not pay salaries? Are they on contract? So I think you have not offered a, a, a very satisfactory explanation to this single question the chairman asked you. Agreed on that since last year, January 2020, in your last budget defense of 2020, we have agreed that that's it, nothing more will be paid to FIRS, they are not to collect anything on your behalf, we have given you all the, commit the support that you require, 100%. And uh, you are still charging one billion again to go to FIRS for what? And I, pre and, I, and I think that is why the Ministry of FCT is not even capturing or recognizing anything by FIRS. That collection that you are talking about, they are not making any efforts to go out and collect on your behalf. If they are making any effort to go out and collect on you, then you can go in into an MOU due to lack of capacity. Are you trying to say you don't have the capacity to collect still up to now three years into your administration? Because you are here now uh, getting to four years actually. This is the fourth year. The last time I came here I explained to you why we could not recruit. And because I told you the salaries of the public service that we met was so low. A deputy director for us is going to receive 163,000 a month. So we embarked and got approval from the board and the minister for a separate salary structure. No, that's what I'm explaining, sir. So it took the ministry, and I explained to you last time, two years the ministry did not send it to Salaries and Wages Commission. Fiscal year is already available, 100%. So you had your money, five point something billion, already available to you, but you did not take, you did not, uh, so if you come back and pass the blame to somebody else, then it means you're abdicating your responsibility. So this is the fallout of your inability to take
charge of what you were given. Your budget proposal for 2021 speaks the same way. Because I don't know if we can give you eight point something billion and still come back next year again and say you have only used one billion. Because from all indication, this is what is going on. 2021, today we are March, uh, April 1st. And which means you, you have completed three calendar months and you are still at ground zero. So what confidence would you give this committee that in the next nine months you are going to expend 8.9 billion? So with these few remarks, distinguished colleagues, may I at this point suggest that the chairman and his team should take their leave. We will look at their proposal and then if there are any adjustments or uh, issues that will come out out of the proposal will make it known to them but by far and by unanimous decision the performance of fct irs for 2020 and the better part of this year is Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be comment to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It comment button that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the Bis zum nächsten Video und einen schönen Tag. Tschüss. Tschüss. Bis mein yes, subscribe Bis. to Linda's TV show. What are you waiting for? Click on that red button that says subscribe. You turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Leave your, your comment down below and share this video with your friends, families, and colleagues until we meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.